Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today um, will be a bit different of a video. It is mostly going to, or we are going to go through um, Cobra Island, uh, sort of revisiting um, Cobra Island, this Target exclusive that was sort of at the start of um, the G.I. Joe classified series franchise. Um, I don't know how long this will be, but this first part, and if it does well, um, I'll move on to classified uh, Cobra Island, the Joe team. So today we'll just be on um, the Cobra um, figures. So I guess we'll start off with the troop builders and we got two of those in this series um, Starting off we have the Cobra Trooper and Everyone went crazy for this guy um, I don't blame him um, This was a great figure to have it was very new look to the Cobra Troopers from obviously the original but not only that but these guys were loaded with accessories um, they came with two pistols um, a assault rifle and sniper rifle as well as a knife um, their helmet is removable as well as goggles like night vision goggles and a little um red patch that goes on their arms like i said before the figure is nicely sculpted and tons of accessories and so it made for a good trooper builder but it was target and since it was the first one they um released <laughs> there was a lot of issues with the um i guess um release um distribution there you go and so he was a tough one to find i remember finding mine i only got one um but i found him at a target i was with a friend and we knew that day was the day they were going to release so we waited in the morning and we waited about two hours or so and they, they they put up all the figures but there was nothing no cobra island figure and so we asked one of the uh, store employees do you guys have these guys in stock and the guy said i'll go check in the back and surely enough he, he he did find one and it was the only one they had and the box was not entirely beat up but it was kind of harsh conditions so we we took it it was the only one um so yeah my friend left without one but it's the only one i found or that we found in the store and that was the only one that i i bought and it's the only one that i still have but a nice figure to have overall Next, we are looking at um, Cobra Island, um, the Cobra Viper, and this is my favorite troop builder. I always liked their design, that helmeted look, and just the colors are great overall. Um, this one has a more original look to its predecessors, like original... Um, retro feel which is fine i don't mind it um <clears throat> i think people had complained at this point about the futuristic looking and the modernization of the figures so i guess hasbro just took the safer out and said we're doing original looks now um this guy as well as the cobra trooper uh, comes with tons of accessories but in terms of weapons, he only came with two, really. Um, this being his um, assault rifle 
as well as his pistol. Um, other accessories included his sort of handkerchief goes around his neck, the goggles that go on top of his helmet, and a nicely sculpted backpack. Um, through and through, nice detailed figure. Um, a bit easier to find for some people when it released. Um, I waited a long, almost an entire day as well for this guy and he was the only one I bought in store. Well, I, I bought the Cobra Trooper and the Viper, but I only found one of each in the store. And then later on, Target did the whole restock about six months or I don't know how many months later. They did a restock and I was able to get two more that way. But yeah, these were the two troopers that we got from Cobra Island, which is a shame because troopers shouldn't really be um, exclusives to any store, um, especially normal releases such as the Viper and Cobra Trooper that aren't like a specific um, sort of team such as like the new um, Cobra Python Patrol. I think that makes more sense of a for an exclusive other but not these guys so that is a shame and it's a shame that they were very hard to come by um because it would have been nice to have gotten a few more cobra troopers at retail price and now moving on to um the main sort of bad guys um or just like more important villains, bad guys of the Cobra Island um, gang. Um, we'll start off with the uh, Baroness. And she was one of the first ones as well to come out. I think it was her, Beachhead, and, and um, Roadblock that came out first for the Cobra Island. Um... Baroness was high up there because uh, she's an iconic character for the Cobra crew and making her an exclusive right off the bat kind of pissed off a lot of people but she comes with two head sculpts which is her normal head and a biker helmet head sculpt uh, she comes with two cold pistols, a knife with the cobra um, on top, painted gold, and she comes with a, a weird snake that coils around her arm, um, laser spray thing, um, and as well as her bike. So this was the first vehicle we got in Classified, and it was her cobra coil bike. And, I mean, it's a bike, it's there, it doesn't really bother me and it doesn't really do much for me. I don't pose her on the bike as often, but it's an option. Um, she's nicely detailed, um, her sculpt is amazing. We get two tones of paint, which is those graves and blacks. And we, of course, get um, painted Cobra logos all over, which is nice to see. But overall, a nice looking figure. We then have, um, I think I'll do this in order of release, but we have Firefly. And this guy um, had mixed... <laughs> receptions from people people didn't like the whole bomber jacket thing like he was supposed to be more agile which I agree with and the bomber jacket wouldn't really allow for that but he's still a nice figure I still like him and I think he was one of the easier ones to find because he came out with um, later down so with a viper I think a cobra viper and he was a bit easier to find 
um, in terms of accessories. We have a whole backpack, um, a sort of tablet to control his little drone, um, TNT, which can plug into the backpack, a pair of goggles, and I said that pretty weird goggles, and a sort of futuristic looking pistol. Um, I like the sculpt, I like the aesthetic that he brings, but it would have been nice to have gotten more traditional Firefly, but this will do for now, and I, I'm happy with it. Like I said, not a very hard figure to find either. I think I, I managed to get them online, I think. And I think <laughs> that was our only um, hope it was to order online and get them that way rather than going to the store. And lastly, for the Cobra Island, Cobra Troops, we have Major Blood and this figure as soon as I got him, I, I loved it. It's just, it's Major Blood. I never really cared for the character back then, but now having this guy, I'm like, yeah, this is a dope figure, cool character. Um, in terms of accessories, it does come with a revolver, sort of more modernized revolver. It comes with a pair of dog tags that are removable, his helmet is removable, a little backpack that stores um, sort of rockets, and his more classic um, gun is this, I guess, missile launcher. So you are able to plug in the missiles and he is able to... You're able to plug in the missiles into the to the gun and so you just have this massive missile coming out of the barrel of the gun but it looks cool and it makes for cool display major blood uh, was later in the cobra island line line so he wasn't hard to find either and i think there was good stock amounts after about a month on the target app so you could get them pretty easily. Not so much anymore. People are already doubling um, his price. But I'm glad I got mine um, back then. And I don't have to struggle with his second, um, secondary prices um, on eBay and stuff. But all in all, this is Cobra Island. The Cobra Troops. My general thoughts on these are we got great characters and great sculpts and tons of accessories for everyone in this figure line. Um, it was just a shame that they did it so soon or that they started making exclusives so soon that we ended up not finding these as often. The distribution was off. Um, the line was just starting, so it was a bad move, I feel like, from Hasbro from releasing exclusives right off the bat. But this that will conclude this video, and I hope you all enjoyed watching. And like I said, if this does well, um, I'll do a revisiting Cobra Island Part 2 on the G.I. Joe. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.